So you start uh, from samastiti, which is equal stance. You keep your feet together, your hands toward the side of your body. You stand tall with your chin to your chest. So this is an advanced practice because you're going to com combine the breath with the movements every single time we do a movement. So let's see how we go about this. Now, after you stand tall, try and find a place of focus and fix your gaze at that point and observe your breath. When you observe your breath, you can feel your body is either swaying to the right or swaying forward and backward or to the sides. Find a particular place where you can really balance well on both legs. So this is stability and this is what is going to set the pace for our whole Tadasana sequence. So this is from a sequence called Tadasana from Vinyasa Krama practice, a special style where you combine breath and movement and slowly integrate the whole movement with the breathing pattern into an advanced posture. So let's see how we begin from here. Now as you inhale, you take your hands to the sides Stretch it up towards the ceiling, interlock your fingers, reach up. Now when you do this, most of us tend to do the shoulders up as well. Let's try to see if we can drop the shoulders down. The whole focus is from your waist. Inhale, you stretch from your waist. Exhale, you slowly drop your hands down. Every movement we'll do this three times. Third time we'll stay for three breaths. Inhale, you take your hands up stretch you can see how your fingers joints in the fingers and wrist is stretching up exhale slowly drop your hands to the sides one last time inhale open up your armpits as you reach up lengthen up stretch up as much as you can three two and one exhale release your hands down if you have more time, you can stay there for five breaths as well. Let's start. Now the next movement, it's, come, it's going to be in the front. So you're going to take your hands forward and lift your arms up, opening your armpit and bring your arms behind your ears. Exhale, you bring arms forward and down. Three times, inhale, arms forward and up. You're going to stretch up as much as you can. Exhale, hands forward and down. The key is to breathe in when you start the movement and finish the breathing when you finish the movement. So I'm still breathing in, 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 in. And I start exhaling. I come down, exhale, 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 exhale. And then I finish. The next movement, you take your hands to the sides and up interlock your fingers, stretch up. Now as you exhale, you bend your elbows. The elbows are the next joint we're focusing on, opening your chest and palms facing up. Now as you inhale, you lift your arms up again. Exhale, you come back to Samastiti. To make the movement a little bit more faster, instead of coming back to Samastiti, we'll go back into the movement again. Inhale, you reach up. Exhale, you bend your elbows. Inhale, again, you reach up. Instead of coming back down, again, we bend the elbows and we stay here for three breaths. Stay. Two, when you do that, make sure you're not squeezing your shoulders, your neck is relaxed, chest is open, elbows are away from your chest. Inhale, you reach up. Exhale, slowly drop your hands to the sides and down. The focus is on your breathing. You might feel soreness in your arms and shoulders today when you're practicing, but keep going, it will become better. Now inhale, take your hands up, interlock your fingers, stretch up. Now as you exhale, I'm going to show you, take your hands, touch your opposite shoulder blades. Now you can keep your feet together if that's possible or one feet apart. Inhale, interlock your fingers, you stretch up again. Exhale, touch your opposite shoulder blade. The focus here is to not let your elbows fall out. Keep the elbows in line with your spine, like coming together in front, into your body. And three breaths here. My focus is fully on how deep I can inhale and fill the chest and how completely I can exhale. Interlock my fingers, I inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, slowly drop your hands to the sides and you come back down. So now we did all the shoulder 
elbows, wrist movement. Now next we come to the spine. Again, the spine can move in all four directions. Sideward, twisting, backward and forward. We'll start with backward bend. So, I'm going to show you on the side so you understand how it's done. In the beginning, you can keep your feet one feet apart. Inhale, you take your hands up. So when you bend back, don't bend from your lower back. Rather, lift your chest. Send the hips forward, you bend from your thoracic spine as much as you can and exhale, you come back. If it's difficult to do it on inhale, you do it on exhale. Take a breath in, exhale and bend back, inhale, come forward. Let's do this one more time, either inhale or exhale, you bend back, exhale, you come forward. Now inhale, you stay here. Exhale, you release your hands to the sides and down. So you can see my neck position. I'm not looking down when I look down. I pull my chin in so I can stand up tall. My crown of the head and my neck is all in one line. So the neck doesn't take all the weight. Your shoulders are relaxed. The next movement is a sideward bending movement. So try to keep that samasthiti position in all your asanas. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, you're going to bend to your right, but then it's not a collapsing bend. Rather, you push your hips to one side, reach your arms to the ceiling. Inhale, come back. Exhale, you go to the other side, drawing your belly in. Inhale, come back. Exhale, you go to the right. Inhale, you come back slowly. Exhale, you go to your left. Inhale, come back. So breathing is important. Exhale. Start exhaling, start exhaling, start exhaling. Go to your right. Stay there for five breaths. One. Two. When you're breathing, you feel how beautiful the stretch is on the left torso. Three. Two. Inhale, come back. Your neck is in line with your spine. So don't drop your head down. Don't turn your head. Nothing. Exhale, just allow your head to just be with the spine. As much as the spine bends, your head also goes. Two, three, four, and inhale, come up. Exhale, release your hands. You're not going to release it so fast. You're going to release it slowly with your breathing. So while you're doing this, you might feel a lot of soreness in your shoulders, but this is completely normal. If you do it regularly for two weeks, three weeks, it will go away by itself. Now the next movement is a twisting. So instead of using the same hand position, we can try a different arm position. Now inhale, you try and take your arms in line with your shoulders. As you exhale, you twist to your right. Turn your head, look over your right arm. Inhale, come back. Exhale to your other side. Inhale, come back. Exhale to your right. Now you stay here for five breaths. If you have time, you can do this three to five times the movement and five to ten breaths to stay. Inhale, you will come back. Exhale to the other side. Now as you inhale, you will come back to the center. Exhale, drop your hands down. Very, very slowly. I know it's painful, but make sure you're doing it very slowly. The next movement is a forward bend. You're going to do a half forward bend and a full forward bend. So you can use a block for this if you are not comfortable to touch the floor. I'll show you how you do it. For half forward bend, keep your feet either one feet apart or feet together. Whatever is comfortable. And if you have pain when you're doing this in your hamstrings or your knees, you can slightly bend your knees, but only when you feel there is a pain. Otherwise, keep your knees straight. Inhale, you take your hands up, you stretch up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, you're going to push your hips back, draw your belly in, bend halfway down. So when you do this, most of us, our arms will be here. The focus is to lift the arms up, but then not the chest. The chest is going to sink in. Inhale, you come up. Exhale, hands down. If that's difficult for you, I would suggest you do it with your knees slightly bent. Let's try. Inhale, hands up. 
exhale you bend your knees slightly draw your belly in push the hips back chest open head down so in the, the not necessarily looking forward keep your chin down so that your neck is free 5 four, 3 2 inhale come back up exhale release your hands down So the next movement it's going to be a little bit deeper than this so let's try if we can use a block and do that so you're going to keep your blocks in front of you if uh, this is comfortable you will keep it closer so try and keep it at least 1 feet away from you in the beginning inhale you take your hands up so as you exhale you're going to go forward draw your belly in and stretch 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 and bring your hands to the block So now from here inhale lift your chest up exhale you draw and bend your elbows take your forehead towards your knees if this is uncomfortable you stay here with your back straight if this you think is comfortable bring your block closer and turn it upside like a little bit lower on the floor and press the block the focus we using the block is to open the chest Now I want your chest to be open because many of us think forward bend is this that's not a forward bend so push the block away from to the floor and lift your chest up and drop your head down stay here for five breaths from here we go a little bit deeper take your block the sides of your legs and bend as much as you can down without rounding your back chest open even if you can't take your forehead it's fine keep your chest open now just drop your head down 5 if this is uncomfortable bend your knees slightly 4 chest open as much as you can 3 2 as you inhale interlock your fingers you reach forward and come up exhale hands down when you come up you feel like your spine is like a jelly jello feeling but it's good it's going to slowly slowly open up and if you want to f- like adjust the spine you can gently do a back bend inhale and exhale you release we'll do this one more time inhale push arch exhale relax the next movement is going to be a squatting position so inhale you take your hands forward exhale you first draw the belly in push the hips back and go half way down when you do this don't push your knees forward push the knees back as much as you can chin down inhale you come back up exhale one more time sit down so you can see if you you should not lift your heels up heels are on the floor go as much as you can down inhale come back up if you have any knee injury or surgery you have done to your knees be very careful when you do this practice because it's not suitable for everybody it's an advanced practice so take it easy inhale one more time exhale you're going to go half way and you stay there 4 3 2 and inhale you come back exhale you release the last one for your knee is a full squat so i'll suggest you use a block or a cushion for your heels if you have never tried this full squat before so your toes are on the floor your heels are on the block stand up inhale hands up now as you exhale you going to fully sit down fully squatting down to the floor the key is to not open your knees to the sides keep your knees in line with your ankle now inhale push the block down come up if this you feel it's easy you move the block away and we'll do it without the block inhale hands up exhale sit down inhale come up 
Exhale, sit down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sit down and stay there for five breaths. Now lean forward, slowly sit, stand up. Exhale, drop your hands down. Take a few deep breaths. If you're breathing fast when you're doing this practice, then the whole point of doing the practice is lost. So try to come back, open your arms, close your eyes, and regulate your breathing. Take as much time as you want so that your heartbeat comes back to normal. Now, once you feel your heartbeat is back to normal, do the last asana of the series, the Tadasana or the heel pose. We're going to lift the heels up while we lift the arms up. This is a balancing posture, so I recommend you to gaze at a particular point in front of you. So, find a point, regulate your breathing. Now, as you inhale, take your hands up. Stretch up, heels up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, slowly drop your hands and your heels at the same time. Inhale again, come forward and lift your heels. Keep looking at a point in front of you. Stretch up as much as you can. Exhale, slowly drop. It's all about the balance and coordinating with your breath. Last time we'll stay for three breaths. Stretch up and stay here. If your focus goes away, you'll fall down like me. Try to be aware. And as you exhale, slowly drop your hands to the sides and down. So to begin with Sarvangasana, again lie down comfortably on your back and bring your legs all the way up just like in Viparita Karni. So inhale, bring both your legs up and slowly bring both your legs up towards the sky. So let me show you the difference here. So for Viparita Karni, your hips were way too lower, just like this. So my chin and the chest are apart. And for Sarvangasana, the actual shoulder stand, you push your hips all the way forward and bring your chest closer to your chin and elongate the lower part of your body, creating nice inversion. So your blood is inverted here. Just keep your breath normal and hold the posture for as long as you can. Strengthening your shoulders here. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And to release, gently bend your knees and bring yourself down take it really slow and nice and relax your legs and shavasana 